Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, and this is the NBA DFS video for today. So obviously did not make a video yesterday, was feeling a little bit under the weather, dealing with a little bit of a stomach bug or whatnot. Uh, so obviously there'll be no recap for today, but we'll have the injuries in play for today's five game slate overall, as well as my core picks for both DraftKings and FanDuel for today. But without further ado, we'll get started with the injuries in play for today. There are a couple teams that are on back to back, so we don't know their full injury reports. But once again, it is a five game main slate. We're going to start off with the Utah Jazz. We have Jazang listed as out. Kelly Olenek is questionable. He did not end up playing yesterday. Colin Sexton listed as a game time decision. I expect him to be out once again. And then we do have to talk about Mike Conley. He has typically not played back to back so far this year. So there is a pretty good chance that he ends up missing, especially since he was dealing with an injury a couple games back. So we'll see if he plays today or not. Just something to keep an eye on throughout the day. For the Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Livers is out once again. For the Chicago Bulls, Lonzo Ball is out. Javante Green is listed as questionable. I believe he missed the last game as well. And then for the Miami Heat, we have Gabe Vincent, Omar Yurtsev, and both listed as out. Caleb Martin, Kyle Lowry, and Udonis Haslam all listed as questionable. Obviously, if Kyle Lowry doesn't play once again, Victor Oladipo is going to get some sizable minutes and look pretty good overall. And then Caleb Martin could open up some playing time for other guys like Max Struess, uh, Haywood Highsmith, and guys like that. And then we have Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Denman, both of us is probable to play tonight, so no real concerns there with them. For the Golden State Warriors, they're without Steph Curry, Andre Godal, and Andrew Wiggins. So pretty similar to what we've seen as of late. Klay Thompson and Jonathan Kaminga both listed as probable to play tonight. And then on the Knicks side, they're just without Obi Toppin once again, so no changes there whatsoever. For the Washington Wizards, they did recently get Bradley Beal back. Uh, Rui Hachimuri is listed as out. DeLon Wright is actually listed as questionable now. He's missed quite a few games. We'll see if he comes back and if he's a part of rotation. But not really anybody you want to play for DFS purposes. For the Phoenix Suns, Jay Crowder and Cam Johnson both out once again. Devin Booker is questionable. He ended up missing yesterday. We'll see if he plays tonight or not. Dwayne Washington, campaign, Josh Okoji, and Jock Landall. All this is game time decisions. I kind of expect all four of these guys to miss tonight, but we'll just have to see if there's any other news that comes out throughout the day. This is obviously one of those back-to-back -back games where we don't have the full injury report yet. And then last but not least, we move down to the Memphis Grizzlies and the Denver Nuggets. The Grizzlies are without Desmond Bain and Danny Green once again. The Denver Nuggets are without Colin Gillespie. Michael Porter Jr. is listed as doubtful today. Then we have Jamal Murray, Jeff Green, and Contadius Caldwell Pope all listed as questionable, so there could be some value that opens up on this team overall. And then we have Nikolai Jokic listed as probable tonight. Uh, sounds like he should be able to play tonight, and he's been playing extremely well as of late. But with that being said, that's a quick little rundown on all the injuries in play for tonight's slate. Obviously, there's going to be quite a few that we're looking out for today. We got Jamal Murray is going to be a big one. Uh, Devin Booker is also a pretty big one as well, if he plays or not. And then, obviously, moving down to like Kyle Lowry and whether or not we get some news on Mike Conley and some of these other Jazz starters overall. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my core picks for today. So we're going to start off at the point guard position with Jalen Brunson. He's $7,200. Looking for 36 points on him. He's averaging almost 37 so far on the season. Should be a little bit of a pace up spot tonight against the Golden State Warriors as well. Currently, I'm projected for 38 fantasy points. He's been playing really well as of late as well. So, so there's no real concerns with him overall. Looking like one of the better values overall on tonight's slate. And then at shooting guard, we have Clay Thompson. He's $6,600. We're looking for 33 points on him. He's averaging about 30 so far on the season. Currently, I'm projected for 34, 35 tonight. Should be taking that extra step up here and there without Steph Curry in the lineup. A little bit more usage, a little bit more shot volume. Definitely somebody I want to get a hold of once again tonight. Then small four, we're going David Roddy at $3,300. Looking for 16, 17 points on him. He's averaging about 13 on the season. You know, he's been playing anywhere from 17 to 20 minutes as of late. Getting, you know, close to that 18 to 20 points. Looking for that 16, 17 out. Currently, I'm projected for 16. Just kind of a cheap pay down option at this point in time. Not too many cheap value options at this point in time. So he's just kind of somebody that fits the bill. This is a pick that definitely could change throughout the day as well, though. Then at power four, we have Draymond Green at $5,900. We're looking for 29, 30 points out. He's averaging 28 so far on the season. A little bit more involved offensively, especially in terms of moving the ball around and helping facilitate the offense a little bit without Steph Curry in the lineup. So currently having projected for 30 points tonight has a little bit upside for more as well, has a little bit downside for less. Obviously there is always risk with Draymond Green, whether he gets in foul trouble, technical fouls, ejected, anything else like that. But at $5,900, I don't really mind taking a shot on him today. And then last but not least, we have Jalen Duran at that center position, $4,800, looking for 24 points on him. He's averaging about 20 and a half so far in the season. 
in terms of like the last six games or so, pretty much since he's been in that starting lineup, playing at least 27 minutes a game in all but one game, been over 26 fantasy points or more in all but one game. So definitely looking like a solid value tonight. Currently having projected for 27 points. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have this year, you're out $22,200 remaining, $7,400 per player. So a couple different ways that you could approach this slate. You can pay up for a Nikolai Jokic if that's something you really want to do. He's been on a tear as of late, so it does make a lot of sense. You could pay up for a John Morant if that's something you want to do as well. Or if you want to take a little bit more balanced approach, that's definitely fine on tonight's slate as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my core picks over there as well. So I'm going to start off by saying the Fandle side is not as enticing. The pricing is a little bit heftier once again, which is kind of something we've seen in Fandle on more recent slates. But the point guard position, I have Victor Oladipo at $4,800. I'm assuming Kyle Lowry is not playing once again tonight. Victor Oladipo has played over 30 minutes, you know, last couple games, so not really a concern there. $4,800, pretty reasonable price tag. We're only looking for 24 out of them. Got projected for 24, 25 tonight. But if Kyle Lowry does end up playing, this is probably a pick that does change throughout the day as well. And then we move down to shooting guard with Zach Levine at $7,200. Looking for 36 fantasy points out of him. He's averaging about 34 so far on the season. Currently, I'm projected for 36, 37 tonight. It's a pretty solid play. It's a pretty safe play. A reasonable price tag here. He has some upside for more. He has a little bit downside for less, obviously. In any given matchup, you're going to have that with a lot of these players, but Zach Levine's a guy that definitely can outperform this price tag once again tonight. And then small four, we got Tory Craig. He's five thousand dollars. We're looking for twenty-five points out of him. Probably no Josh Okogie tonight, so they're not going to split minutes. He played thirty plus minutes last night. Assume that he plays 28, 30 minutes tonight. And if you're getting that out of him, he's probably getting you 24, 25 points, 26. Currently, I'm projected for 25, 26. If he has a good rebounding game, that can definitely put you over the top as well. And then a power forward, we move down to Boyang Bogdanovich. Once again, he's $6,100. The guy that we play a lot on FanDuel, he's been in this core pick quite often. Looking for 30 or 31 points. I'm having projected for 31 points once again tonight. Been pretty good without Keith Cunningham in the lineup. Pretty solid player overall, and his price tag is pretty good once again. This should be a relatively competitive game, I would assume, too, since Utah's not the greatest team in the world either. Then last but not least at the center position, we're going with Nick Jokic on the Fandle side. If you want to play like a Mitchell Robinson or Jalen Durant or someone else at center, you can definitely do that as well. But $12,500, we're looking for 62, 63 fantasy points on him, which is quite a lot, but the way he's been playing lately has been very, very good, and that's exactly what I have him projected for tonight. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that do have listed here on the Fandle side, you have $24,400 remaining, $6,100 per player. So probably have to find a little bit more value on Fandle side. Might be a little bit trickier on the Fandle side today. Like I said, the pricing is a little bit um, more inflated over there. So maybe taking some shots on some guys we normally wouldn't otherwise. But going to make for an interesting slate overall. But with that being said, these are my core five picks for both Fandle and DraftKings for today, December 20th. As always, if you have any questions related to NBA DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to note whether those questions are more Fandle or DraftKings specific so I can best help you as quickly as possible. And then, as always, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. And then, as always, I'll be listing as many injury updates throughout the day as well as as many starting lineups as I can get to tonight. And then about 20 to 30 minutes prior to lock, I'll list my updated core if there are any changes or if there are any changes that do happen throughout the night as well. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Right now, it's NFL and NBA DFS. And then with that being said, if you are a newer current subscriber who's yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS core pick videos just like this Monday through Friday. Do do a little bit of NFL DFS content, hopefully getting back to some videos this week, but definitely be sure to check out all my content, whether it's on Twitter, Patreon, over at WeBetATS.com for the NFL DFS cheat sheets for both DraftKings and FanDuel as well. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me, and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.